Good day all and welcome back to our channel. So today in this video let's discuss about order 14 project profitability in community. So in any kind of a business firm it is necessary to know the profitability of a project. So this profitability over work could help the company to decide whether we should continue the service or not in a project invoice based on order quantity or on the basis of timesheet cost of an employee. So when you end a project module after installing it, you can see the creative projects and the number of tasks created under under the project and we can also find an overview for the project. Okay, so before that we have to configure timesheet on in configuration settings. That is you can see here option task clocks to tag time spent on projects and tasks. And you can enable this option planning, uh, that is, it is not by default configured in uh, community because we have to uh, purchase from Odo Pricing. Uh, this option is only available as default in Enterprise Edition. Okay, so this task log is already enabled. Now, let's create a new project. and enable timesheet recurrent task for the project and create it. So after creating project, here we can add stages for the project. So we can manually add stages from here or we can just use the examples provided by Oro. So you can see here some Kanban examples. You can choose one. So I'm selecting design and you can use this for your Kanban. So when you choose that, you can see those stages are added here and if you want to add a new column you can just click from here and we have done a separate video on how to create and manage stages in order for the project and community so you can check that video okay so after adding stages you can create tasks directly from here so before that before adding task so here's our project uh, just click on three dots and you can set color and after that when you edit the project under settings, here we can enable the option billable. So this one is really important because this is used to invoice your time, invoice your time and material to customers. So when you enable this option, uh, here we can see an additional tab invoicing. So this is used to create invoice to task for dis different customers or for a unique customer. So when you choose the first option, uh, we only have to just set service product from here. Then if you choose second option, uh, so we can create invoice based on project rate or employee rate. And we can set sale order and default sale order item here. Then if you choose employee rate, here we have to add lines with the sale order item and unit price. So I'm setting different customers. So we can create invoice on task. Uh, project on different customers okay so just save this and come back okay now let's create a task under this project aqc project so here you can create a new task or quickly add a task to a stage so here i'm adding a task test and assign to machine learning and can click add or edit so i am editing this so you can see this is a form task form so here we can change the name of the task and we can mark this task task as important and we can set a deadline for your task and we can mark this task as recurrent so you can repeat after one week or we have to one day that is daily weekly so when you enable the recurrent option you can just uh, repeat this task every one week month or year so not enable this recurrent option then we can set a tag for your task to identify whether it is a new feature or experiment or um, whether this task is user solve uh, issue bug 
then we can set this task uh, that is if a task is done specifically for a customer you can just set that customer here okay so I'm not doing it then here we can provide a short description or uh, for you for this task then here comes the role of timesheet that is we can set uh, add the time spent on employees on this task so here if you planned uh, four hours for this task so to complete this task we need uh, we have set four hours and here can add the actual time spent by employees on the task so if misled means spent two hours on this task you can set two and here you can add same employee or another employee so if Antina Oliver Anita Oliver spend one hour of on this task you can add that and here if you want to remove this you can remove from here assign to so that everyone can view this task okay so after so you can see the progress is now 75 percentage because the planned hours is four and three hours is only spent on the task so after that you can save this and if you want to add sub task on this task you can create that is you can divide it into sub task okay so time sheet is added and now you can see remaining remaining time to complete this task is one and if you want to just move this task to the next stage you can move this from here to this okay so one task is created for this project and now if you just click this overview you can view the project record hours and profitability of the project so as we have added timesheet lines, uh, here we can see non billable task, total uh, hours recorded is 3 and it is 100 percentage and we can see the timesheet cost is negative 300. So this timesheet cost is calculated by multiplying the time spent by employee with uh, into the timesheet cost per hour set on the employees HR settings so for that just go to employees form uh, so when you just open employee uh, form under HR settings Tab, you can find option that is to, uh, where we can set timesheet cost per hour for this employee. Okay, so according to that, and the time spent by employee on task, timesheet cost is calculated. So this timesheet cost is actually an expense for the company. And you can see here we can calculate the profit profitability by adding total amount invoiced to total amount to invoice and then adding with the timesheet cost so you will get the total profitability and we can also analyze profitability profitability with the help of an analytical account uh, so if in enterprise edition you can create and manage analytical accounts and if you create a project automatically that account will be created with the name of the project Okay, now let's create a sale order for the project. So for that, let's open sales module. Create a quotation of sale order. So from here, select the customer for which you are creating the sale order. And here we can select the product. So you can select an existing product create a new service product or an existing task so here you can see we have already created a product that is new service and if you go to external link 
you can see the product type is set as service because we are going to create a sale order that and creating an invoice for a service product that is a task so when you set product type as service here we can find some option under sales tab that is we can set service invoicing policy and service tracking for the uh, task so we can uh, create invoice uh, prepaid that is we can create invoice for order quantity or based on time sheet or manually we can set quantities and order so let's create invoice based on order quantity that is uh, quantity ordered by customer and let's create a task in existing project so let's select our project from here this project and then save it so when you confirm the sale order a task will be created automatically with this name with this product name okay so here we can change the unit of measure to day so within one day this task need to be completed and here we can set a unit price for this product and confirm the sale order so when you confirm sale order you can see here option that is you can see one task is created with this name new service and you can see the sale order reference now if you check the project overview you can see now the total amount to be invoiced to invoice is 100 and you can see the total profitability is increased to negative 200 and directly from here we can create invoice Okay, so you can click and create regular invoice and confirm it and register the payment. Now when you come back you can see the total invoice is 100. Okay, so we have created invoice for this for that task and you can see the related invoice and sale orders. Okay, so now let's again come back to sale orders and create another sale order. Okay, let's select the same product, new service. And change the invoicing policy to timesheet on task. Now we are going to create, uh, that is create invoice based on timesheet of employee. So let's save this and set unit price. Okay, let me set it as 80. Then confirm the sale order. And here you can find our task. So just open that. Edit and add timesheet. So here I'm adding half hour spent on the project by employee on the task by employee and initially plan hours you can see this one. Okay, so save this. And come back okay so you can see the total uh, quantity ordered by customer is one and you can see delivered is 0 0.50 because half hour is spent on the task by employee and if you try to create invoice from here okay so here we can set timesheet period if you want and you can click create an invoice So here we can see the quantity delivered as 0.50 because half hour is spent by employee. So we can see to subtotal is only 40. So we can confirm it. 
and register payment. Okay, now if you check the project overview. So here you can see build on timesheet is changed, rate is changed to 14.29 and you can see the total time spent is half hour and you can see the total amount invoice is updated to 140 and then timesheet cost is also updated. Then the overall profitability changed to negative 210. Then in project module we can also uh, we also have a reporting that is project cost and revenues. So when you open that you will be able to see for each month the total untaxed amount to invoice, total untaxed amount invoiced, total timesheet cost and total duration. So from here if you want to view other cost, other revenues, margin, then amount to reinvoice or the invoiced amount and we can see the count so in this way we can manage project my main team project cost and revenue report and for this we can also see a graph view so that's all about project profitability in order 40